Hey everyone, Jordan's Touch Reviews here. Today is July 16th, 2009, and I'm here for a quick review on a Cydia application called QTweeter. This is my very first Cydia app review, so let me know if you guys like these or not. Sorry about the whispering, it is pretty late right now. Take a look at the time. It is 1.50 a.m. July 16th, so excuse the low volume voice, but let's get started with this review. So QTweeter is a Twitter slash Facebook application that basically allows you to update your Facebook or Twitter status in a really cool, unique way, which I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Uh, you won't need to add a source in Acidia. All you need to do is to go to search and search QTweeter, spelled just like that, the letter Q and then Tweeter. Um, this application, if I can remember correctly, is 5.7 megabytes, so it won't take up a lot of space. When you first download this, you will need to restart your springboard. So let's head over to my homepage and actually go into the application. This is what the icon looks like, QTweeter. Let's start that up. The looks of this application is just like a typical Cydia application, really boring, plain, and ugly, as you see there. But when you first get this, you're going to need to set up your accounts, of course. So what you have here is Facebook and Twitter. So if you click one of them, you're going to need to click Connect. So this one is Facebook. If you click connect, it'll bring up this nice menu that looks kind of like the Facebook menu. And it's really easy. You just put in your email and username if you're on Twitter and your password and um, you're good to go. So you put that in. And I'm going to click cancel. And same with Twitter. Just click connect to Twitter and you'll get that. Let's go back. You can also choose a twit pick if you guys know what that is. You can choose an update sound, which means if you get an update for either, either of Facebook or, or Twitter, then you'll get a sound. You can choose a background for the actual status update page, which are very nice backgrounds you see here. Let's head back. You can also choose a profile picture. On the left is my Facebook picture, and on the right is my Twitter image. And you can also choose to turn on or off auto hide quick um, Q tweeter. You also have about registration where you can donate to the developers and help which brings you to the safari page that basically explains what i'm talking about right now all about the application so now that what you guys actually came to see is how you actually update the status um this is what i love about the application it's so easy and uh, practical and very useful because you can use it in any application whether you're playing a game watching a movie listening to music surfing the web it works just like sb settings if you guys know what sb settings is you swipe across your status bar and the menu will pop down and you can change your brightness, your volume, turning Wi-Fi on or off. And it's really useful because it saves time having to go into settings, exit your game or your movie, having to do all that. You can just use that by swiping the status bar. So that's the same with QTweeter, but instead of swiping across the status bar, you swipe down. So you guys see here, swipe down. This will come up, looks really stylish and nice, which is what I love about this application. On the left side, you guys see there's the my profile picture that I chose. I'm using the Facebook one. You have your name displayed there, and you have an 140 character limit, which means um, spaces are included, uh, periods are included, anything to, that you put down your status, you only have a limit of 140, which is quite a lot. On the bottom, you can ch uh, choose to turn Twitter on or off, Facebook on or off, you can leave both on or both off, and if you leave both on, when you update your status, it'll go to both accounts, which is pretty cool. And on the bottom here, you can use Music Quick Tweet, if you guys know what that is. You can also take a picture with your iPhone right away and send it to Twitter or Facebook. You also have your settings, which basically brings you to that application that I just showed you, just in a quicker way. And you have Safari Quick Tweet. You can add a photo from your photo album and um, uh, basically upgrade your status for Twitter or Facebook. So what I love about this application, like I said, it is really useful. Just like SB settings, it saves a lot of time. Uh, rather than going to your Facebook application or your Twitter application like Twitter font, you can just use this and it's really fast and easy on the go. Really nice user-friendly interface to this application. Um, it's a lot different than other Cydia applications I've seen. It's really nicely developed, no frame rate issues of experience, and really useful as well. So that was my quick review. Um, I actually found out about this application just today, so I want to share this with you guys. I haven't seen any reviews on this so far, so hopefully this helped you um, find a new application from Cydia. So this is only for jailbroken iPod or iPhone users, of course, but um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. I'm going to go get some sleep now after I upload this. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.